Hello, we're going to try and do a um, puzzle rush thing now. So take the rook, take the rook, probably go for, yeah, they, they give you simple bat rank mates, um, generally. So take the bishop and then come back and check, take. Um, Yeah, then because you got the G7, mate. Uh, this one, no idea. Oh, you take the bishop, distraction, like four. Ah, what was that? It was terrible. Um, check. Take the queen. Push the pawn. Check. Uh, is it check? Check. Take the queen. Oh. Mm, no, it's not mate, right? Uh, this one I don't know. What is it? Is, is it 96? No, that's wrong. Okay, I'm in trouble then. Take the bishop? No, you can't take the bishop. So what do you take? Uh, ooh, he's, he's making it tricky for me. He's hit my queen twice, right? There must be a tactic again that I'm missing. No, it's not that either. Okay, play again. That was a bad one. Begin with. Uh, take the bishop. Uh, give the mate. So we'll see if we can get over 40. We should be able to get over 40, right? Take the bishop. Uh, take the pawn. They're very slow today. By the way, I got my first trolling comment on YouTube, which is always a good sign. I don't think I've had a trolling comment on my YouTube channel before. So that's excellent sign. Uh, but yeah, the guy was saying, do we really want to listen to this guy complaining for 45 minutes? No, probably not. This, life is too short. I totally agree with you, young man. Life is too short to listen to somebody like me whining on for... Yeah, well, I try not to be too negative on my, on my channel, but yeah, I do have a tendency towards depression. Which I'm not going to apologise for. It has cost me a lot in the past. But yeah, thanks for your trolling comment. I really appreciate it. Uh, maybe take, and then take. So I'm doing alright so far, but nothing special. Are we heading for 40? Let's head for 40. Uh, might be easier just to do puzzle, what's it called? Survival mode. Uh, Queen D1. There's going to be like mates here. Maybe this and then mate, right? Now this one, you're trying to distract this one. There's queen f3 mate. Yeah, this one's tricky. Is it rook d3? Nah. Normally you go here and you go for the kind of... You know, Greek gifts like this. Queen d7, which is very promising. Then the queen. Oh, God, I'm collapsing. See, I'm moaning again now. Oh, dear, that'll be putting people off. <laughs> uh, let's try and devour that pawn, right? I think the problem with puzzle rush is you often have to. Um, there's no puzzle. I'm, I'm being negative again. There's no problem with puzzle rush. You have to. Um, let's check. No, it was probably it was c5. That was a tricky one. Okay, didn't quite get a 40. Let's have another attempt. So my my ultimate aim of getting the 40 is not good. 
She's not good yet. Queen G7, and then there's May. Yeah, I don't know how much puzzle rush uh, training you need to do, but, you know, I think sufficient to say a lot of good players, a lot of, you know, even super GMs are doing a lot of this puzzle training. And, um, you know, you probably need to do a certain amount per week or per month or whatever uh, to um, keep your tactics sharp, I would say, you know. And I think puzzle, anything I would say is um, there's a slightly shaky history with Puzzle Rush. I think there's a, there's a guy I know who claims he invented it. And, and the story is that... Um, this guy, I believe, lives in Leeds. And he, he had some kind of... Uh, idea, and he presented it to chess.com. And... Um, they gave it to Jennifer Shahadi uh, to use in a competition. Is mate immediately, which is always good. Um, let's check maybe here. Yeah, he gave it. Yeah, and and basically stole the the whole idea off him. You know, which seems very unfortunate. So maybe king up. No, no, oh, stupid. Queen g1 was. I didn't see that there was a threat, which is careless. There's a5. I'm trying to remember the guy's name who, who claims all this. Ah, oh, but um. So what are we? We're doing all right so far. There's rook h8, which looks natural. I think you take the pawn, right? Or do you take the pawn? I guess you take the pawn. Now, the question is where do you move the king? You don't want to go to h7 because you've got g6. And it should be winning, yeah. Now, now he has to go to the queen. This is going to be forced checkmate. So I've got the 40, that's good. Okay, still doing well. Just check. Okay, so that's quite nasty, right? What's 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 the idea? Okay, I'm trying to what what's his threat? I mean I d I don't I don't understand this at all. I wants to he wants to kind of Oh okay you get no I didn't get that one. There's rook b three, right? There's knight g four is a move. And then rookie one at the end, but is that winning? There's knight c two. Or just take back, right? Or just, or do you take here first? Or you take here first, and then you take. Ah, okay. So you're trying to give checkmate. So maybe this, and then here, and then it's mate, right? There's knight f6, and if you take, there's knight h5, right? And then rook g4, and then mate. Took me a while to, while to get there. There's queen g. F well, queen g6. There's queen f3. It's got to be something to do with. The fact that queen is. Maybe it's that move. Now I need a clever move. Oh, just queen f6 and then take. And then take, right? Knight e5. Okay, there's no rook d4 doesn't work. Let's start with this and then check and then check. Ah, rubbish. So, how, where am I on the leaderboard? I'm actually in fifth place because I've been playing it already today. <laughs> I've got 50, so I was lying when I said let's try and beat 50 rather than 40. But 
Yeah, I'm too lazy to even sit properly in, in the chair. You know, I just can't be bothered. I just like whining. That's my like main hobby. See your comments below. Like, who do you think is going to be the next uh, World Rapid Play champion, World Blitz Play champion? Because that's coming up soon. World Rapid and Blitz. I'm looking forward to that. It's normally a good good watch, right? Since I had a, it was an amazing game. I think it was between Duda and Carlson last year. And Carlson managed to win from a completely lost position. Was that in the rapid or was that in a bit? I can't remember. It might have been the rapid, but I can't remember. Um, but um, I got a theory. I mean, I might be. I got a theory that Nakamura breaks his duck with a Will Blitz, and the reason I think that, I think this old Carlson uh, Kramnik thing. Is building up to that. I think it's just you know we've said before that uh, with um, with with Nakamura that he's never quite breaking his duck with a world rapping and blitz. But I feel like you know when you get like challenged like that, like he's uh, he's been challenged by Nakamura, um, then you um, that that can inspire you. Yeah, this queen e6, right? Maybe this, and then take. Uh, so bishop f8, and bishop f8 didn't work, right? Knight. Queen a1. A rook d3. Okay, maybe. Aha, uh -huh, this is nasty. I literally have no idea what a winning move is here. I mean, it's rook d1, maybe? No, we, we see I was right. I did, I did have no idea. Um, but yeah, I, I just feel like when you get challenged like that, it kind of often can bring out the best in you. So I feel like Nakamura probably feels now he's got a point to prove. You know, he's never won that before. Nakamura is basically calling him out, saying, you're, you're rubbish at Blitz. Um, you know, oh, you, your whole life is fake. Well, not to that extent, but do you know what I mean? Like, 9G4 is a move here, right? Um, there's uh, Bishop... No, I don't know what this is. Is it Bishop G4? No. This one's uh, there's knight c six maybe no but then bishop I've no idea on this one uh, I mean you know this is I'm probably going to get this one wrong if knight c six he's got checked right there's, there is bishop g four ah oh, then I just trade and take right but that took me too long so if I take oh, it's going to get a perpetual. So maybe start with this, and then oh, then you win the queen, right? There's queen d6 is playable. If if rook b8. Ah right, okay. If queen d8. There's also c5. There's c5. He goes there, right? But he's still winning, yeah. Knight e4. And then just take. There's maybe this check. Uh huh. So if I check, there he goes there, right? So how do you win? It must be this, right? No attacking the rook. Maybe just move the rook to a two. Okay. So now bishop b six, maybe. Yeah, this one I don't know. It's not rook a8. Maybe just take rook check. Oh, there's rook e8, right? No, you idiot. Tired, I feel tired as well. Maybe just take. Uh, 
ran out of time. I probably I feel very short on energy today. I might try survival in a minute. I have I have the survivor. Mate there. And obviously the, I mean the, the the favorite for all these competitions is Magnus Carlson, right? You know, World Rapid and Blitz, he's won them several times. Not to say that he's more favourite than the field to win. But he's he's obviously got a phenomenal chance. Um, you know, and I think the reason you know, we're talking about that do the game. You could not win a position like this, like that, unless you've got very good nerves. Um, you know, like if you've got a lost position, part of the reason why, you know, People people lose a lot of the time is they just collapse. When they get a lost position, they don't put on resistance. But people like Magnus to get a lost position, they, they just keep trying, trying, trying to find the best moves. And um, okay, there's this, and then win the bishop, right? Mate, mate. Was I rook d seven? Yeah, I do in my local chess club today. I do in local school. Um, the quite worrying thing is one of the kids had actually heard of Levy Rosman. <laughs> oh no, you know. Yeah, these streamers, they're very good, you know, people like Nakamura. Nakamura's uh, done very well with streaming. Ah, uh, but, um... I'd say with Nakamura, you know, people like Levy Rosnam, they're more... Um, you know, teachers in a way than they are streamers, you know. They, they, they teach people a lot, a lot about chess. So in in that respect, you know, they're very useful. They're very um... oh okay. So I've got to stop him mating me. How do I do that? Uh, queen h seven. Uh, queen h five is not good enough. I could go king h seven, but then he moves pawn. Oh, queen f one is the way. Right, took me way too long to notice that. I mean, I think, yeah, he, he just got his clever idea of walking at the end. Knight h2, and then maybe here. So check, take. Surely that's winning, right? Okay, there's bishop b5. Yeah, then you wipe everything out. Oh, hang on, now what? Bishop g7, right? Okay, so this is some kind of tactical win. Maybe, is it that? Or can I go, no, no bishop e6 is the move, right? It's not rook h4. Oh, so he's threatening mates, so. But I can, no, I can't go rook. Um, Maybe just go h6 now, I can't do that. Okay, it's h3. Ah, the check, right? Okay, so you've got to try and stop the pawn. Uh, it is. Okay, now it's just take. Now this one I don't know, 91, 91 is, is, is it? No, it is, no, I'm starting to run short of time again. I don't know, castles. <laughs> that was a ridiculous move. God, I'm rubbish at chess. Uh, bishop b2 is a move. 
Let me just take back some out uh, we'll see. I just ran out of time. So where am I now on the leaderboard? Probably moved down, right? It's still the same hour. I'm not really making any progress. I'm like stuck on this 50 odd. Yeah, so that would be the I mean, I would like to play the European Rapid and Blitz, which I believe is in Croatia. It's start, it might be even be starting this weekend. I mean, a guy I know is playing there. Donnie Muter. Um, shout out to him, maybe. But, yeah, he's playing in that. Oh, but, yeah, I'd be, you know, it, it'd be nice to play in it, probably, because... Um, you're playing against very good players, right? But unfortunately, I didn't really have the money to play. So this is another win, I haven't got any money, right? <laughs> Time for me to complain again. You know, my favourite thing to do in the whole world. But yeah, that would be, you know, that's the ultimate aim. You want to play in these good tournaments, you want to, you know, because it's always a good pleasure when you play against strong players. You see why they're so strong. And you're like, wow, you know. I mean, there is. Yeah, I mean, there is a possibility of playing it in the future, but it's a little bit dispiriting that I can't play it now. Um, but um, yeah, this one I don't get. Is it bishop? B no, it's not bishop b seven. Oh, you just take right. There's mate. Yeah, when I first played Puzzle Rush, I was like, this is so addictive. It was. I was actually playing it around a friend of mine's house, uh, Richard Pates. And um, it was the early days, and I was trying to get like record scores, but Nakamura was like the top guy at the start. He's, well, he still is one of the top guys on Puzzle Rush. One of the top guys full stop. Um, but yeah, then you got people like Ray Robson entering the conversation. Um, this kind of Dutch kid um, was very good as well. Some people are just good at pattern recognition, right? Or they're just good. Take that pawn. And then just win that way, right? You know, like our, our, the great Magnus Carlsen, he's just good at chess, right? Or maybe you don't take, you go here, yeah, this is very easy to miss. And then there's like some check here, and then now you have to go, no, you don't go, can you go bishop g5? No. Oh, queen e6 is simple, mate, right? Uh, there's queen c4 check. Yeah, the same old chestnut, right? Queen e8 is winning. And I'm very slow. I mean, I'm not going to get any kind of score here. Yeah, this one also, is that? Uh, it was that. It was simply that, right? Yeah, sometimes it's bad just to guess. Because, like, you know, you can overthink it and then you get it wrong anyway. Okay, so it's, it's some kind of fork, right? It's not f3, is it? No, it's not f3. Oh, it's knight d3, and then... Aha, uh -huh. so now you got to try and maybe... use the king. The old chestnut, use the king. So maybe you just take... Uh, if you go rook h uh, rook h one and then just take right, was I rook g eight maybe? Ah, uh, now this one I don't know now. I mean, it's, it's got to be like something violent, otherwise I'll just get mated. I mean, it's check. Oh, now, now you go here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. See, I guessed there because I'm running short of time. You got to somehow guess on some of them, and that was another terrible guess. Okay, so here you want to like 
between here mm. maybe here no I don't know I was just guessing again oh dear what are we doing on the leaderboard now it's still the same bloody hour yeah I was all right for a while I could smile for a while but then I saw you last night you held my hand so tight as you stopped yeah mouse slips on the other one Ooh. to say hello oh you wish me well you couldn't tell that I'd been crying over you crying you left me standing all alone alone and crying crying it's hard to understand but the touch of your hand can start me crying oh my god yeah i'm getting tired now any excuse eh I'll carry on now. I don't believe in early quitting. Yeah, so who's, what, what do people think will win the world record? I'd like to see your comments down below about who you think is going to win the world record and blitz. I'm going to go for Nakamura to win the blitz. The, the rapid? I think Magnus wins at least one of the titles. I think he wins. The, I think Ma Magnus wins the, the rapid. Because he's just playing really well. I just saw him there, like... Uh, he just wiped out somebody online, like, crazy score, like... One of the top blitz players, like a 3,000 player, just wiped him out, like, 19-5 or something. I mean, the guy is just a phenomenal player, right? We're lucky to be living in the Magnus Carlsen era. Um, and he also won title Tuesday... Very strong title Tuesday. Yesterday, um, with um, you check here, right? With ten and a half out of eleven, which is a phenomenal score. Yeah, Queen G three was the move. Okay, what I think I might do now is play. How can we play survival? I need to move this slowly. So my top score is fifty five at Puzzle Rush. Again, leave your comments down below. What's your top score at Puzzle Rush? Let's play Eye of, Eye of Survival. Let's play Survival. Survival's very tough. Can you survive? Okay, so here we take the Rook. The great thing about Survival is you have as much time as you want. Um, now I really don't know what solution is it. And if I take that, it's just, oh no, I can't just take the queen. For some reason, I'm thinking that's a bishop. He's defending it on e1. Uh, so rook d8, mate. Uh, take the rook. Take the pawn on f2. Probably take this pawn. Oh, I'm not very good at arrows. I'm not, I'm not a Nakamura with the arrows. But again, yeah, you know, when you're looking at World Rapid and Blitz, you're also looking at the younger generation, right? We're starting to see them making a massive impression. People like Pragananda, Gukesh, Kaima, they're all going to be, Hans Neiman, you know, Ferruja, they're all going to be probably playing there as well. You're very interested to see if, if Hans Neiman qualifies to play Carlsen. You know, what's Carlsen going to do? Is he going to, is he going to just, 